What's up guys, Brett here. Now after working with over 500 plus restaurant concepts all over the world, one of the biggest pain points I've seen when it comes to advertising restaurants is the food content. Is taking beautiful food photos for your restaurant that can be advertised online. And so today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right guys, so today I'm gonna be shooting two different kinds of pizzas as well as a Jersey Mike's sandwich. And I'll be shooting this content with just an iPhone or an Android to show you guys, no matter what situation you're in, no matter what kind of phone you have, what kind of food you have, shooting content really is that easy. So let's jump right into it. So the first item I'm gonna shoot is this barbecue chicken pizza. And as you can tell, it's a little messy, but doesn't matter, I'm gonna make it look beautiful. All right, so check this out. First, I'm gonna use my iPhone. The app I'm gonna use is just the standard camera app, uh, just the one it comes with, okay? I'm gonna shoot right above. So I'm literally aiming the phone right above the food item. It's gonna aim directly down at the pizza. So I'm gonna get this shot in here. I'm gonna fill up the pizza just as much as the frame that we can see in the camera. Get that, that is what we're looking at right there. Pretty awesome. The next shot I'm gonna get is what this, I, I don't even have a proper name for this, but it's kind of like holding a holding shot, I guess. So I'm gonna hold it out like this and I'm gonna take a picture like so. Perfect. Now, for those who have Android, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to show you it's the exact same process. It works exactly just as well as using an iPhone. All right, so let's shoot it with the Android. Same shot from above, got it. And then same shot, holding it out. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna shoot the exact same shots, but now with the cheese pizza. And now I'm gonna do the exact same shots, but with the sandwich, okay? And obviously with the sandwich, you could assume that you're gonna wanna see the inside of it. That's the most exciting part for the customers, obviously, to see what's inside the sandwich. So we're gonna spread this open. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so guys, before I shoot this sandwich, as you can imagine, right, I'm not gonna shoot it directly from above because that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is inside, like I just mentioned. The other thing you wanna think about before you go ahead and shoot an item like this, is you see how I have some turkey meat coming out, you know, around the sandwich? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're gonna clean this up a little bit before you just go shoot it. You know, you don't, want, you don't want all this, see this cheese down here? You don't want that. So make sure this is all kind of cleaned up for you so that when you do shoot it, it looks super clean and all the focus is directly on your food item. Like I just mentioned, rather than shooting the sandwich directly from above, we're gonna shoot it from an angle because that's what we want the customers to see. And then the other shot, like we've been shooting with the pizzas, is gonna be the holding out shot, right? So I'm gonna do it just like this. I'm gonna hold it up kind of to the sky and I'm gonna get that shot right there. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. All right, so those are just a couple of shots, you know, the shots from above, shots at an angle holding up your food item, but feel free to get more creative with it. You know, shots from different angles, right? So let's take, let's take a few other shots, all right? All right, so we got some cool shots today. Now let's head back to the office and edit our photos. So we're back at the office. I'm about to check out these photos and what we're gonna have to do is edit them, obviously. Now there's an app I would recommend to you, it's called Foodie. The logo looks like this, it's yellow. Um, check it out, it's also available in the iPhone and Android store. So check it out, download that app, but let me show you how to edit these photos real quick. All right guys, so the time has come to finally edit those amazing photos we just took. So again, the app I like using the most for this is an app called Foodie. So right here on my phone, I'm gonna navigate to that app real quick. There we go, looks like that. And I've already selected my favorite shots from today. I picked six of them. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna edit three. And let's start with this cheese pizza right here. Now obviously, as you can see, it's a cool shot, but it's not quite there yet. Now using the Foodie app, I'm gonna make it look amazing though. So obviously the first thing I'm gonna wanna click is edit, okay? And as I click edit, you'll see different filters pop up first, all right? You're gonna see the filters pop up, you're gonna see an adjustments tab pop up and you're gonna see a recipe tab pop up. Um, don't worry about that quite yet. I'm gonna to touch that, touch on that in just a minute, okay? First, I want you to focus on the filter. So you're gonna to wanna to select which filter looks best for your food item. And you can see there's a variety of different filters here. I mean, I would encourage you to try all kinds of different filters. Um, some filters have actually specific food um, shots in them. 
uh, you know, suggested shots for cer certain food items. Now for me, I've already used this app quite a bit as you can imagine, right? And so for me, I've already selected my top three favorites. Um, I like these three a lot, ME2, YU1, and SI1. For this one, I like SI1, I think a lot on this because it looks uh, brighter, it makes the photo pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna choose that. The other thing you're gonna notice is this little um, bar right here. You can actually move this thing up or down to adjust the intensity. So if you wanna turn it down, you just move it like so, and um, if you wanna keep it up, keep it up, okay? The next thing you're gonna to go to is the adjustment tab right here. Now, you'll also see here that there's a lot of different ways you can um, edit this photo. There's a contrast, there's a brightness, there's saturation. For me, uh, the filter does most of the heavy lifting for you on a lot of these things, but the one thing I like to add is the sharpen. Okay, so I'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I like to like 11 or 10, that looks good. The reason I wanna sharpen it is I want the photo to look very crisp. Um, once you're happy with the sh uh, how much you've sharpened it and it looks good to you, just cl uh, click that um, check mark, okay? And then after that, um, sometimes depending on the photo too, like in this case, if you wanna make the actual um, food shot pop a even more, uh, you wanna put a little more emphasis on your food item, I like this vignette right here, okay? So what this does is if I turn it up, you see how the area around the item gets darker, right? Here's it normal, and here's it all the way. By doing so, you're gonna increase the focus on your actual food item. It's gonna get darker around the photo. So if the food is in the middle, it'll stay bright while the area around it will be darker. So for this kind of photo, I'm gonna go about halfway up. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. It looks a little too dark. I'm not gonna go all the way down because there's no emphasis on the food item, but right there, I think in the middle, looks pretty good. So let's click that, and there we go. Now, uh, if you're ready to save that photo, you can just click that save button right there in the top right. But what's really cool about this stuff, guys, that I like doing, is you might find something you really like, and so what you can do is, based on the edits I just made, which again, are using the SI1 filter, uh, sharpening it a little bit, and using the vignette, uh, you can actually save that. So you can actually click add to recipe, and it'll actually save the specific edits I just made to that pizza shot. So if you have another pizza shot you wanna do the exact same thing to, you can do that. It's pretty cool. Once you're done, you just click save and it's gonna pop in your um, camera app. Save your phone, cool. The next one I'm gonna do guys is this barbecue pizza one. So let's click on that. Again, I'm gonna click edit. I think I like this YU1. Yeah, I like this one. So I'm gonna choose that one. And again, if you want to experiment a little bit, moving it down or up or whatever the case, whatever you like, you can do so. I'm just gonna keep it at 100. Next thing, again, I'm gonna to go to my Sharpen tab on my adjustment settings. Let's turn that up, I don't know. See what looks best. Yeah, right around 20 I think looks good to me. See, if I go too high, it's just too much. But usually around 11 to 20 is good, but depending on the photo, I might go even higher. All right, so 22 looks good to me, so I'm gonna keep it there. Makes it again really pop, really crisp. And then the next thing I'm gonna go to is gonna add a little vignette. So let's add that. I don't know, let's see. Let's call it, um, I don't know, let's see what looks good. Yeah, this shot's kind of interesting, so I might wanna go a little bit more than usual. Let's go right around there. That was pretty clean. And guys, what's really cool about this app too, if you wanna compare uh, your edits to what it looked like before, <clears throat> you can simply um, tap on the picture. So you literally just tap, it'll show the old edits. See, that's what it looked like before. And now that's what it looks like with the edit. And as you can see again, um, it's just kind of bland here. And now I feel like the focus and the attention is specifically on that pizza shot. So really, really cool what you can do. So if you like it again, you just click that check and then save. Boom. All right, guys, so now it's time to finally edit that sandwich photo. So let's click on it right here. Gonna click edit. And again, I'm gonna try out my filters I like best. 
in my favorites tab. Yeah, that SI1 just looks really good. So I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna go to my adjustment settings. Gonna go over to my sharpen. Gonna turn it up quite, uh, just a little bit. Let's call it, yeah, it looks good. Click that check. And for this guys, I think I'm just, I'm not gonna do the vignette. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I kind of like how it's bright. It looks very lively. And so I'm good with this. So I'm gonna click save right here. It's obviously gonna save to my camera roll. And just so you guys can see, there they are. So we have that pizza shot, the cheese one. We got the barbecue chicken shot. And then uh, we got that sandwich shot. I really do hope you got a lot of value from this video today, from the shots we took earlier to the edits we just created from those food shots. Um, I really, really can't wait to see the kind of amazing food items you shoot and utilize for your business. But by all means, in addition to this tutorial today, I hope it's opened up your mind to what's possible. I hope it's opened your mind up to the kind of food shots you can create for your business and the kind of impact it will have on your business. So by all means, come back to this video, watch it multiple times if need be, but also get experimental. Try out different types of food shots, try different types of edits. And you know what? I can't wait to see the most amazing food content you create. Thanks a lot and I'll be seeing you soon.